Time to get dirty, and we are officially in the summer gardening season and with an insect issue that we all deal with, ants. And here to tell us more and give us some tips on how to cope is Kathleen Yoshinaga from the Hawaii Floriculture and Nursery Association, and she joins us now live from her famous house. Good morning, Kathleen. Good to see you again. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. So we're talking well, about ants. Yes, <laughs> we're talking about ants. Do you have ants in the pots? And what do you do when you get them? Well, ants like dry soil, and it goes into pots that have space inside the root system to, you know, so maybe some soil fell out of it. Uh, there's a hole in the soil where they can nest. And ants, especially like, you know, orchid potted plants, because they have a lot of space between the pots inside the roots to nest. So, if you have a plant that's been sitting in the same spot for a while, you haven't watered it, became totally dried out, you, they make a great vacation spot for an ant nest. Believe me, they do. Ants also follow where there are white flies, mealybugs, scales, aphids that infesting a plant because they love the poop the honeydew they call it, but it was actually the poop of the insects. So ants are attracted to that. So more so you might have ants infesting your plants. Well, last week I have, um, I wondered why my lavender plant outside started dying all of a sudden. And it was dry for about a week. And when I pulled the plant out of the pot, it was infested with these ants with eggs crawling everywhere. Oh, yucky. So what do you do? Number one, take it outside the house. Don't try to, don't try to deal with it in the house. You could have ants scurrying everywhere, everywhere. Once you get it outside the house, get a larger pot, fill it with water, and maybe one to two tablespoons of either uh, like peppermint castile soap or even an insecticidal soap like Dawn, and put that in the water with it. Soapy water, safe, and then let it. Make sure that you have enough water, though, that covers the top layer soil of your pot and just put it in there for 20 minutes or so, 20, 30 minutes at the most. Uh, but also be careful because you'll have ants going everywhere once that happens because it's a whole big nest in there, right? So they'll just be scurrying all over the pan of, and trying to get out of there. So you might want to have a little spray bottle filled with soap, a soapy solution in it to get away, to get all those runaway ants. After soaking for 20 to 30 minutes in the bucket of water, uh, take it out of the pot. I would recommend just, just take it out of the, if you can get it out, wedge it out of the pot and just make sure you've got most of them and then just let it sit there and dry for about one to two days. And then it's ready to be replanted again with you're, this way you're doing it safely, it, you know, you're not using chemicals and you're pretty much not too much harm to the plant. However, be, make sure if it's a very fragile type of plant, it may get affected. It may take longer to bloom again. But the idea is to keep ants in check by watching your plants, making sure you see ant trails coming in or all of a sudden the plant got full of ants, you might want to double check the inside of the pot because that's where it might be actually nesting but you want to keep those ants at bay at all times. So what do you do? Well, you can use some safe organic methods like get citrus. Citrus, the rind and the juice mixed with some water into a spray bottle actually works as a great spray deterrent for ants. Things like that, soapy water again, maybe a teaspoon of either Dawn or some kind of Castile soap with a quart of water into a spray bottle works just as well. And this, and also things like cinnamon on the top, sprinkled on top of the soil keeps gnats and ants away. Chili powder, that works pretty well too, believe it or not. Tea leaves, coffee grinds, ants don't like those things. And ants also doesn't like mint. And things like this is a peppermint essential oil. You can mix this with water too. And basically, when you have a solution, you just kind of spraying the top rim of your pot. You can spray the side if you want or the bottom or the plate where it is on. And just to keep them at bay, you know, that so that they won't climb into your plant. But if you have them on your plant, then you might use the soapy water and then just spray the plant itself and then kills them too. And that's all great tips. That's the idea. 
Oh. Keep ants at bay. Have a great summer. Yes, thank you so much. And perfect as we're going into the drier season, seeing the ants come in a little yes. bit more. Check on your plants, especially the ones inside. Kathleen Yoshinaga, thank you so much for the great thank tips you. on uh, helping to cope with the ants and also keeping our plants at the same time. You have a wonderful day. You too. Uh, happy uh, summer. Oh, happy summer. Aloha, Kathleen.